sometimes I just really score when I go to the thrift store and this was one of those times I found a whole pack of these sh shirting fabrics they're the same on the front and the back um, so they're just a wonderful quality and I, I think they came from like a sample booklet or something from a from a fabric store um, but yeah they they were inexpensive and I'm just I really excited to find them. I'm going to be doing another sweatshirt transformation today and this is another comfort colored sweatshirt but this is a, a new style for them and I'll link the information down below for you if you're interested. It is a hundred percent cotton and it is a little bit lighter weight so and they have fun colors. I want to use these shirtings in this, this sweatshirt and I'm going to be joining a, joining a bunch of them and you can see it there I just joined a bunch of them and then I'm going to be using this I'm going to cut this again now horizontally I have five of these sweatshirts to do and so that's why I've got so much going on here but I um, had a little bit of a strip left over that I'm going to use for another project I believe my strips ended up to be about three and a half inches one thing about these sweatshirts is it does not have side seams and so I did press that seam on um, what I kind of felt was the side seam. Um, I'm thinking I might need that for reference later because I'm going to be cutting the bottom of this off and then re-sewing it on again. I mean I want to get it somewhat straight so I, I did press those side seams and I'm just marking up about four, I think about four and a half inches here. Um, and then I'm going to be cutting this single layer. I'm not, I'm not going through both layers because I, I want to make sure that it's somewhat straight. I'm almost done here with my cutting. And this is what I have in mind. I'm going to add that strip and that bottom part I've turned inside out so that fuzzy side of the sweatshirt is facing up. I just thought that would have a nice texture on the bottom. So I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and sew this. And it went better than I thought but I did use a walking foot. Um, I've, 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 that helped prevent that sweatshirt from stretching at all. So I did use a walking foot. And again I'm pressing those side seams just for reference there and I'm cut up on that. I'm going to just uh, have a slit at the bottom. So I did that on both sides. Um, and then I also decided to do a slit uh, uh, on the, the neckline. Um, but, but before I did the slit, I trimmed that neckline down. I just kind of like the look of that. Um, so I just, I just trimmed off about a quarter of an inch. And then to find the center front, I'm just going to match up the shoulder seams and then put a pin in the front of it. You'll see me do that next. So just an easy way to, to get that center front. And then I'm going to put a, a little bit of a mark about three inches down and then just clip that just to open up that neckline. Just easier to get over your head and just more, a little bit more comfortable. Also removing the cuffs right above that seam. I'm just going to be putting a, folding them up and stitching that just to hem that. I'm going to be taking this to my sewing machine next and I'll share with you how I'm going to finish those slits. I have my, I have all purpose thread on in color brown and also in the bobbin thread as, as well. And I have a it almost looks like a blanket stitch. On, on my sewing machine it's called the applique stitch. So it's going, it's kind of covering that raw edge. And then I hold it into place to sew the beginning and the end of that. I don't think that's good for your feed dogs but it does, it just helps make sure that it um, is, it's very secure. I wanted to add a little detail to the to the bottom of these sleeves. So I cut, this is like a one inch square and I have heat and bond light on the back of it. And then also I'm going to take one of those one inch squares and I'm just going to cut it 
and diagonally just so I have a little triangle and I'm going to put at the at the bottom of this neck this neckline Just drawing a circle in the center of that one inch square and punching a hole, just using my big bite there to punch that hole. And now off to, to my sewing machine again and I'm going to just go around and around this little hole that I created. I have my um, feed dogs dropped at this point and my free motion foot on. You could also just put an eyelid in there but this is so much easier, it's just a little bit of more of an organic look. And then going around this little triangle too with just the free motion stitching. And that part is all complete. And now I wanted to add a design to the front and I have just chosen this star and I marked it so that the, I know what the top is and I've also numbered each one of those points because each one is going to get a different color of this shirting. I just drew them all out on this heat, heat and bond light and then going to be taking um, my shirtings. Now they're the same on the front and the back uh, pretty much. You know this one had a little bit of a brushed feel to it, the front of it. So I'm flipping it over and, and just ironing these on the back side of my shirtings. And again, I've got, um, I'm doing five of these shirts, and so I have two of the centers there, but I've got all of them cut out. And then on to just cutting each of these right on the line, just fussy cutting right on the line. And then removing that backing. And then I'm going to start just assembling my, my star. I want to make sure I get these in the center. So once again, I'm pressing that center front. Of my shirt so I have that crease marked kind of as my guideline Just one last one to do and then I'm just going to adjust this I'm just going to move it down before I press it into place I don't share how I sewed this on but I use that same blanket stitch and went around um, all all the sides of, of each of these points I created fabric tubes and I'm going to turn them right sides out with my fast turn little tool there and then I'm going to place just a little bit of that tube in each of my bottom on my cuffs just to turn them up and just to add that little bit of detail at the bottom just punching that through that hole that I created and this can easily be taken down if you know if it's not something that you like but um, this just kind of like I said adds a little bit and now I just didn't like that bottom band and so I'm cutting it off. I had it hanging for a while and it just looked to me too stripey at the bottom um, and I didn't like it. And so I cut that off and here's what it looks like. I really enjoyed this. I think that the plaids really look well on this, this faded brown sweatshirt. Thanks everybody who's joined me this week. Um, bye for now.